hi everyone welcome back to the channel let's try this again all right this is aries the emperor here i am back with another general reading for all of my aries angels thank you all for joining me once again if you notice i did upload a previous reading that the platform flagged okay um because of nudity all right um so i have on a turtleneck now i'm guessing it was due to my shirt but it's it's nothing any more crazier i don't think i wear crazy clothes but um i digress all right i'm wearing a turtleneck now so let's try this again all right you read the title okay um i've heard people talk and <clears throat> Ooh, they don't even want me to talk about you. So let's get into the reading, y'all. I'm going to change the angle as well. I might start doing some readings where we change the angle because I don't have time for this. I'm not going to play with them. Okay. Thank you guys to those of you who like and subscribe to the channel. Um, I thank you for your donations to those of you who share my readings, book personal readings, and shop the website as you know i am running a sale all candles and readings are on sale at this time as well as check out i did a a live stream on kiss my cosmo this morning um very different so go check that out as well okay everything you need from me is in the description box down below and i am working on getting candles out candle orders as well as um connecting with all of you guys as far as your readings go okay so everything is down below. Let's jump into it. Let's see what it is that people have been speaking on you. I'm not going to let this rain on my parade. And this is um, a telltale to you guys as well. Don't let anybody stop you from doing what you got to do here. All right. So I'm going to get this message out one way or not. And I return all this negative energy back to his rightful sender as well here. I feel like people could be talking about you in that type of light as well, that you sending everything that's not yours back and you calling in everything, you know, African Indian rain dance style, you calling in everything that's yours, you know, whether you um, have you getting it now or you may get it a little later, you still are going to be in the energy where you get what's rightfully yours. All right. You are the only one who gets to be all right, the only one who gets to to experience this type of purpose and in 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 this blessing here, and I feel like people starting to realize that you know there can only be one you. They cannot duplicate you here, devil energy. I don't care how many minions the devil tries to recruit against you. You know you gonna have people who are gonna be obsessed with you, and this is what you, this is an energy of, and people can be obsessed with different things about you, different parts of you different things that you do. I feel like people could be talking about, um, especially it could have been the way that you did something, you know, with somebody here, they, they can't get that feeling from anybody else, the way you put it down, you know what I mean here, the way you made them feel, you know, um, just the energy they were able to cipher out of you. Um, I feel like somebody could be somewhere bragging about that or, or talking about it, um, or just thinking about it in their dirty mind, um, how you were able to, to escape from their grips um, and go on and, and be something and do something for yourself here. You know, somebody didn't take all your money here and I feel like they still talking about how they did or um, this is just like an energy of, of maybe others seeing somebody for who they really are and saying that, no, Aries was never the toxic one, bitch, you're the toxic one. I feel like this is an energy that this is and, and this is people talking about you and they know they can't come nowhere near you. You know, you don't fuck with this energy here. And this is a no, no, you know, some of uh, these people here, I feel like it's, it's a lot of people showing up queen of wands here this is people who think or call themselves in competition with you, um, that speak on you and, and they probably don't speak to you in real life. Haven't spoken to you and, and God knows how long here, um, people that you deliberately, um, have separated yourself from and you know there's not a chance in hell that you're on the same wavelength frequency there's nothing you can learn from these individuals here these are the types of people that'll sit back and they sitting here talking about you oh you think you're better where you think you're going oh she ran off or he ran off or you know he's moving here or she's moving here or she's into this type of um 
religion or into spirituality here or you think differently you know or you know you're taking this too far whatever this is that you're into you know you're going too far with something well hell maybe you're not going far enough you know but one thing's for sure is you headed in the right direction here because you got people talking and not only that you got people feeling people could be feeling these emotions as well here okay deep because that's how far you cut you know what i mean it's, it's fire is an energy that it will can keep you warm or burn you alive you know literally here all right let's see what messages come out how y'all feeling out there how y'all doing today i hope everybody's doing amazing i'm sending love and light we have the death card scorpio energy here what are people saying about you uh people are counting your money all right people are trying to figure out how they can um i i feel like because this is death card can be an energy of not just your money but your assets as well and shared assets you know this could be a, a energy here uh, where somebody is is trying to play you and 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 steal from you in some way shape or form here um and and also i feel like this is an energy um because it could be like an energy where there are lawyers involved here and someone's not being all the way up front with their assets and what they have or, or such here this is not going to end well for someone here whoever they are conversing with back and forth or speaking on your behalf on what it is that you have here all right someone i feel like is speaking about how you went through something and it changed you you know whether that was for um good or or for bad here we're going to get some more clarifiers out it's like someone speaking about um how you escaped death Yeah, death card, star energy. It's not going to apply to everybody. But this is Aquarius energy. And not only that, Scorpio or Pluto is now in Aquarius here. I feel like people are saying that what you have what you have done for them what you have given to them the bond that you have with them you they will never get this back again this is something that is over you know you have made a pact this is like death to the old you you know like one star going out another one being reborn for you um this is you taking your true alignment um and 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 taking it seriously here um, and people seeing that people dying off as far as, you know, grieving these, these relationships that are no more, or these jobs or just these cycles that are no longer a part of you. People are speaking on that. They're starting to feel the effects of that. Um, and they're starting to maybe see you differently, um, or maybe you're changing. Um, and, and like I mentioned here, the lovers, we have Gemini energy. Is, is also I feel like this is you unconditional love is what you are, are showing yourself and doing for yourself um, and people are talking about that you know maybe someone's not used to seeing you um, with this this type of assurance within yourself here or just um, you not getting over them maybe somebody thought that um, you were they were more important to you than they really are here um, and it is just something that they, I feel like somebody's having a tantrum tantrum about or a pity party for themselves here. But one thing's for sure is whatever this is, this tithe to this is, it's over with here. And look, the lovers, it pops out. Yep. You loving yourself. Knight of Wands, Leo energy. The 
the world card Saturn energy. I feel like people are talking about your potential. If you have like some type of star quality about you, um, or I mean, this could just be like in your city in, in your neighborhood, your surroundings, or, um, just take it how it resonates. You have the ability, you know, to take something so far or to go so far with something, or, um, you just have a way where you, you are able, if you wanted to, to outgrow whatever place this is, you know, and take it somewhere bigger. Hence the death card earlier when I said, it's just like an energy of somebody counting what you have and, and attaching themselves to you, um, and, and running you dry, you know, until there's nothing left here, because that's what death is. You know, it's, it's, um, an expiration date, um, and stars, you know, they have expiration dates as well here, you know, um, they're no exception, um, as well as the lovers here, um, but whatever this was, this is something where life, um, where your, your guides, um, your spirit is not going to let come in and, and fool you, you know, it's going to be more so you're going to be enlightened to this. Um, this is a time where cycles you're being freed from. Um, so just take that into consideration. Um, and let people talk and say what they need to about you. You know, if you're, you're living different, you're speaking different, you're frequent in different places. Um, you have different people around you. As long as this is a healthy dynamic for you, you know, just let people say what they are. They're just going to die off here. Okay. And those who are meant are going to continue to show you this unconditional love here. But don't be afraid to introduce yourself to the world, um, to different, different groups, um, different parties. Don't box people in, don't box yourself in. Mm. Yeah, Empress. Cause you can have whatever you like. I feel like people might be saying that about you. You have an energy, um, where people would like you to be, they bay, or they wouldn't mind vacationing with you. Um, or they wouldn't mind having you on their side. They may wouldn't mind traveling the world with you. Um, you're just somebody that compliments others. Um, whether that's individual or whether that's everybody that's involved in the room here, you're a good look, um, for, to, to be on anybody's, um, sideline or, you know, I mean, court side, let me not say sideline. I mean, court side child. All right. That's like the type of energy you bring. That's the type of hype you bring. But at the same time, it's still a level of respect and, um, control, you know, um, and comfortability, um, and, and, and stature and leisure, you know, is, and people say that about you, um, you know, you, somebody that could be a part of the Royal family <laughs> is giving those types of vibes here. You, you are somebody that's big time already, whether you in a city, a small city, or you really out there trying to make it in Hollywood or in, um, make it on Broadway or whatever this is here, you know, just, slow down, you know, is you still energy of, of people saying that you are impulsive. Maybe you did used to rush into relationships and situationships, um, because you are unsure, you know, if fire signs are, are very loving and, and very warming, you know, so, um, I feel like people are, don't, they don't see that side to you anymore here and you're more reserved. Um, and you're not just putting yourself out there to each and to each, any and everybody here because you've learned, you know, you spin the block and you saw a few things, you know. So now this time around, you know what to look out for. And people know that and people speak about that, you know, especially. And this this could be people tell, telling this type of thing to their most um, who they call their confidant, you know, because you tell some people one thing and then you tell other people something else, you know, you, you're not somebody that needs to be, um, telling all your business to, to everybody anyways, you know what I'm saying? Five of swords. Cause look how people be eyeing you. They be talking about you behind your back, literally here. And this is what this energy is doing. Star, please. She's just as toxic as I am. He's just as toxic as I am. 
It's a front. They're lying. I'm going to prove it. I'm going to pull a trigger. You know, they're going to do something to try and get you out of character. And it's just like hate too, you know, like uh, that person doesn't really love you or, you know, just spreading rumors or and not only that, trying to come in on your relationship or, you know, this could be somebody you in a relationship with here that's talking behind your back because that be happening too. I'm getting that energy too here. Um, your, your own spouse would be around. They relatives have house having a full blown conversation about you knowing the whole time the, the, your mama in law probably hate your guts. You know what I'm saying here? Or your father in law, just, just, you just have friction with the sister, the brother, just somebody here in, in that dynamic and that type of thing. That's what five of swords energy is. It's tension in the household, in the community. At the town hall meeting. All for little old you. <laughs> but you're not so little because it's star empress energy love. And that could never be little. But this person's issue is because it's a personal problem. Two of pentacles. They're going to have to take those two nickels and rub them together because it ain't got nothing to do with you, boo. You still going to be the empress. You still going to collect what you need to collect. And they still going to talk about what they need to talk about. And that's you. Let me see here. What time is it? 2.42 on the clock. I'm going to give y'all a few more and then I got to go. I can't believe they, they did that video like that, you guys. Um, I don't even know if I can edit it and, and repost it. Um... But here we go. Uh, I feel like I have a target on my back. Queen of Cups. Cancer energy. Magician is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. People say you are a quiet magician. You know, you don't make all that noise with all, all those fireworks and those smokes and kabooms. You real quiet when you manifest. You have things going on and, and you will be perfecting them and growing it. And to you, it, it seems like nothing. But to everybody else, they see all the different changes. They get it. They understand a lot as far as your, your mind frame goes or your artistic views on certain things. Not everybody is, but you don't want everybody. And people talk about that, that you may be for a select audience or, or that you may be, or you're not for everybody. And that's how Aries are. Aries is not for everybody. So don't you ever try to be. A magician is not for everybody. These are hands picked, hand selected. And people are talking about that. They wish they would have signed up when you did. But now all they can do is sign up to hate, be another uh, a side, get a sideline view of you here it is a work of art in the museum of the esoteric library lies you, the one that they talk about. It's like, I don't know who said it, but they're in the magazine, Aries, and you're on the cover. <laughs> Find you somebody to play with. And that's what they're talking about. What is it about you? Ah, I cannot make this up, y'all. Devil. This is public image. This is career reputation. What did I just say? They are inside the magazine. You know, you got to flip through some pages to get to them. Oh, not that page. Okay, flip over. Yeah, that page. All right. You, my friend, baby, you're on the cover. They've been following your tracks. They've been looking for you in the spiritual realm. They've been talking about you. 
and in the 3D realm, they have been obsessing over you. Or this is the energy to come. Capricorn energy. You know, and, and, and also people are, are talking about the, the attachments that they had to you. They didn't treat you right. They juggled you. They two-timed you. They had you and they had them. They thought you were crazy with, with your intuition talk or you being into spirituality. It's giving like they thought you were a kook. But now they want in. Now they want under, understanding, understanding, as they say. You don't look so crazy anymore. You don't look so much like a kook. Yeah, I know it's over, but is there a possibility? No, it's not. Is what is given with this death card and this star energy here. Oh, I didn't know that's what you meant. I do want to be a part of that. I would like to be a part of that. Is what people are saying, thinking, feeling. It's just like also an energy of you once created a soul tie with somebody, you would have done it then. You got people feeling like, why you won't do it now? with this devil and this lover this is the right here you want to know what a twin flame is minus the, the tower here you got it right here the devil and the lovers here this is a relationship that may feel so good but you know it is oh so wrong this i gotta get the fuck away from this person you know this person is gonna drain me one way or another this is when you see what's wrong and it reflects, you let it reflect and you fix it and turn it into that, that lover's energy here. But you're in the empress energy right now. So you're not engaging, but I feel like there are people saying, or people thinking, or, or wondering how they can be revisit some of these, these times and these moments that they, they spent and that they had with you. Things in the dark behind closed doors that may not everybody may not know about you which is nothing wrong with that i'm not judging nobody queen of wands but now it's like you're not who you used to be and you're not engaging in what you used to but clearly you've changed and that's a positive thing here or at least you're working to make these necessary steps here. Give me a few more spirit and I'm going to close it out. Yeah, 10 of swords. It's over with. That's what they saying. They saying they could have did more to you when they had you, but they they let you go. This is somebody you were saved. This is a situation you were saved from. That I felt like was not going to end well. Had you not got out of there. Had you not got that message. That wake up call. This is not going to end well. For whoever that is, is or may still be entangled with some of these energies. People talk about how when you were rock bottom. Or they wish for you to hit rock bottom. They wish ill on your finances. On your home. On your love life. On your opportunities. Your relationships. It's like somebody speaks on you being clumsy. But you are none of this. You're the star and the empress for God's sake. Somebody better find them somebody to play with. The entire time they still want to come back where it is warm and sunny. 
They got all of this to say behind your back, but as soon as they get in, in, in your face, they're singing praises, angelic praises with a demonic tone. Y'all be careful out there, man. Give me one more spirit. Let's turn this around. But you got people talking and you got people hating and you got people watching. This is what the page of swords is also like gossip, a form of gossip, but they're adding, they adding whistles, bells, cows, and pigs. I said that in the last reading, they adding everything you can think of to their, their side of the story here and where they fit in it. But that's okay. You in an energy where you don't need any of this type of energy in your life anyways. Let them talk and, and let spirit continue to pave the way for you. I'm going to leave this reading here, y'all. Hit that like and subscribe button for more messages from me. I don't know what is happening, um, but thank you guys. All right, I'll catch you later. Ciao.